What's up guys? It's Francium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right, you guys, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Showcase Day, and happy gigantic Showcase Day, because today's mod actually has three homes in one. One of which is a massive castle, second of which and third of which are two much smaller chateaus, but are kind of nice and, you know, located very, very nicely out in the wilderness of Skyrim. So today we're taking a look at this mod, which is by far one of the most generic names I've ever heard for a mod before. Almost like the save file was the name of the actual home on Bethesda.net. But this is what I'm going to go ahead and call Steinberg Castle. So Berg Steinberg. I don't exactly know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, anything like that, because... I will go ahead and say this, uh, the a lot of the mod is in German, however there are English translations that go along with it, and it doesn't take, you know, a rocket scientist to, to you know, type it into Google Translate just to see what it says. So, this castle is located right here, next to Nilheim, and close to where Iverstead and Riften are at. Riften obviously being your closest hold to this gigantic castle. So big, in fact, that it actually pops up on the damn map. Look at that shit. The mod author actually put it on the map. That's so cool. So this home was a very peculiar home but that I, you know, when I first walked into it and started looking at it, I was like, this is just an empty, hollow castle with nothing on it or anything like that. But then I realized there are small workbenches along the exterior of the castle as well as the interior of the castle that allow you to go ahead and add the additions that you want onto your castle. Now, you can actually change the banners that you see hanging outside here, which also changes the flags that hang on top of the, uh, the little towers up there, the little conical towers. But overall, the castle itself is ginormous. It's massive. However, a lot of it on the outside is a bit of empty space. Uh, there's, you know, a bunch of little doors that lead up into the towers. There's, you know, a couple little side doors where you can store maybe a weapon or something like that or take a look through and see the staircases and everything like that. But... I think the best way to break a house like this down is to just go ahead and jump right into it. So, for those of you wondering where the other homes are at, we have Berg Steinberg here, and then we've got the Dragon Lair home, as well as the Steinberg home over here. So you can kind of use this one over here as like your house, and then this one as your lair, and then this one as obviously your castle. So without further ado, let's take a look at it, shall we? So it does indeed come with guards. You cannot steal the armor, however. It would be awesome if you could get your own suit of armor, just like that, but unfortunately, you cannot. So, we approach with hanged men across the bridge, which is honestly kind of a crazy cool touch. You do indeed have your um, castle instructions right here. They are in German as well as in English. And it shows you which um, banners you can take a look at and everything like that. And then these is, this is what you'll be finding throughout the castle grounds. So here is how you can choose your banners. And then, you know, you can just decide to, you know, exit out of there. And then you're good to go. There's a small little wait time in between. Looks like that one actually took all of the banners off. So let's just add a banner number two there. And now we can go ahead and see that those are now back. Pretty cool, honestly. A nice little customization to the castle itself. But once again, we've got our hanged men across the bridge. It's a cool touch. Kind of scary, but it's a cool touch. But one of my favorite parts about this are the gates. They're so just heavy. It sounds so heavy. It sounds like they actually have a weight to them. So we're not going to go through each of these little side areas through here because honestly, it's, it's just a bit of the same. We'll take a look at some of them just to make sure that we see some of them. But as you can see, inside of some of these little side areas... Um, there are a few areas in here where you can store, you know, some clothing, have a seat, anything like that. Kind of boring through here, though, honestly. It's very compact up this staircase, so my god, I hope you're not claustrophobic. Because if you are, you are in for a freaking disaster. And then up here, it looks like this guy's taking a leak. He didn't think I'd catch him, but I did. And then you can come out here, and I believe this will probably dump you out onto kind of the, yeah, the upper part up here. So, there, like I said, there's a few wooden doorways that go through each of the different sides. A lot of these are just guard posts. Most of them, in fact, are just guard posts. Which, honestly, I think is kind of a cool feature. There's a little bit of a storage shack right there. There's probably a door somewhere that leads to that. But overall, it leads you right up onto here. Where you can then, you know, resume your post. You got the machulations and stuff. I got, 
hammered by a comment in the last um, was Castle Mod Showcase that I did, talking about ramparts and everything like that, and uh, they're called machulations. I believe these are called machulations, though. This is called, a, like, a canard or a, or a rampart. I don't fucking know. I'm sorry. Okay? Damn. But... This stuff over here, a bit boring, honestly. I think it could use a little bit of sprucing up when it comes to, you know, the decor. They've done a great job with the ivy. Just do more of it, I think. I think it could definitely use a little bit more. But yeah, you've got these two big towers right there. Kind of neat. And then you've got this nice little wraparound kind of V area. Very nice to see. But we came in through this big gate right here. So let's take a look at what we have down here. You shut your mouth. So over here, it looks like we've got ourselves a nice little outdoor smithing area. It's kind of a crafting area. Got ourselves a grindstone. Oi, hello there, leaf blower. Sorry about that. The landscapers decided to show up right as I was about to record. Wonderful, right? Got ourselves a regular workbench as well as a tanning rack. And a nice little area over here with a blacksmith forge and a couple anvils. Nice to see, honestly. Having it outside, a great thing to have. I don't, however, see a smelter unless I'm blind. Which is a complete possibility, but it doesn't look like there's a smelter out here, which is honestly a shame. I really don't understand why there wouldn't be a smelter out here, at least somewhere out here, you know? Hmm. A bit bizarre, but unfortunately, it looks like you don't actually have access to your own smelter. Now down here, I do like what the mod author's done with a couple of these static decor things. It's a cool little woodshed right here. I kind of wish you could actually access it to store wood in there. But we've got ourselves a couple things to take a look at down here, one of which was the wood chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Where is the wood chopping block? I know there is one around here somewhere. But it looks like in through here we actually have a little spot um, where your guards can stay, but there's also an enchanting table. So it's kind of a nice little area through here. I love the armor mannequins with the custom armor on there. I really do wish that we could actually take this off of them and use them. I think that would be kind of a nice thing. But, our regular arcane enchanter. Kind of nice to have that outside. A couple little uh, weapon racks right here. And then we've got ourselves the Clyder Cammer, which I believe is the armory. And then the other one was right here. That's the other door to, that, to the armory. But then if we want to take a look at this one, I believe this is the guard's quarters. Yes, so this is what I would go ahead and call a barracks. I'm pretty sure that's what I would call this. So you can actually come in here and uh, click A on that. And yeah, this is the guardhouse. So you can actually remove things that are inside of the guardhouse as well if you just want it to be kind of plain and bland. But this is where your guards will sleep. This is where your guards will be entertained and everything like that. They can eat dinner. You know, when they're on off, off of their shift, they can come up here and hang out. They can get some sleep if they need to. So it's kind of a nice feature to have that here in this castle. Now, I will say, there is one very cool thing about this mod, and it was the one thing that I was hoping to not see, you know, uh, to see in my initial walkthrough, but because I had to go through and customize things before I saw it. But I want to show it to you right here, because it's just, it's just as exciting as the first time I saw it. This is your armory. Now, this is kind of an interesting thing. I've never, in all of the mod showcases that I've done, seen armor mannequins like this. So you activate it, just like this, and it gives you a few options once the man has popped inside of there. And I believe that's me. Yeah, that's definitely me. <laughs> so I think it copies you and puts you in there, although it looks like you don't have eyeballs sometimes. It's a bit bizarre. Okay, prisoner just got a bit weirder. You don't have to have that one there. You can actually have the regular wooden one there as well. But you just go in here, and you click on there. And then let's just give him my, um, my first stuff. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? I've never in a million years seen that damn, uh, seen this functionality with a mod before. And honestly, it's a cool change of pace. I really do enjoy the fact that you have all of these customizationable options and customizable options for your armory. And you've got a few of these armor mannequins. It's kind of nice, honestly. But got some nice little, you know, bookshelves right down here. It's all for show. Nothing too, too crazy about it. And then one of the side doors to get back to the castle grounds. So now that we've gone ahead and seen a lot of the main features on the, you know, the first floor of the castle, we can then begin to take a look at what the actual castle has to offer on the inside. So we go here, we open up our front gate. 
And then through here, there's a couple things that you can take a look at. So you've got yourself the exterior right here. So you have your armory, your expansion, your bakery, as well as your companion quarters, a wardrobe, and uh, nothing. So the bakery. I've not yet seen the bakery. However, I don't really know if it's part of this castle or if it's actually a part of another one of the other houses in this mod. So I'm not sure. If anyone did find it, do please let me know down there in the comment section where the hell it's supposed to be. Either that or it's inside of the castle itself. So, I suppose without further ado, welcome home to Steinberg Castle. And here we are, inside of your fairly cozy, kind of cold uh, main entrance with a gigantic dinner table with just so much good food on there. Look at all of that. I'm so jealous of freaking people in Skyrim, man. They eat like kings and queens. It's crazy as hell. But how many butts is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight butts. That's a lot of butts. That's that's kind of crazy. More armor mannequins on the inside, as well as a teleport castle home spell. And some more, you know, stuff right here to go ahead and uh, uh, take a look at all this. So that's how you customize the inside of your castle. And honestly, it's so cool with all the tapestries and the shields and and the, the, um, the seals and stuff on the walls. Granted, I think it looks kind of clunky in some of the textures, but I think that's mainly because they're probably just like imported JPEGs um, that the mod author took a, you know, from Google or something like that and just kind of slapped them onto a texture on Skyrim and called it a day. I don't blame them, honestly. <laughs> but we got ourselves a cooking spit right here, big ass hearth, as well as our regular alchemy lab that you'll normally find in any home, which is kind of nice, honestly. But there's a couple things to take, to take a look. One, uh, gigantic wardrobe, my god. Little chest right here for some storage. But where does this lead? Weapon rack. So this goes to something called the Kirker. I believe in the customization thing, this was the dungeon slash, like, torture chamber. Because, I mean, what castle is complete without a torture chamber? Oh, yeah, that's definitely what this is. Uh, are those living people in there? Oh, yeah, those people are definitely alive. Let's let's go. This guy, these, these people didn't have as much luck. Uh, let's go and see what's going on with these peeps in here. That door is so intimidatingly loud. I love it. Uh, what's going on? You need something? Uh, <laughs> uh, do you need something? Uh, because... Need something? Uh, <laughs> do you all say need something? <laughs> I shouldn't... Oh, good lord, there's a lot of hanged bodies in there. Let's go and get out of there. Okay, so I have to assume that those might be human cattle and or just prisoners. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm not into that. That's not my kink. But... <laughs> yay, yay. All right, let's go ahead and make our way upstairs. Uh, hello there, um, mannequin. Glad to see you. Hope you're having a great day there, Jeff. Big staircase. I do don't... I, I do don't. Good one, Ryan. I don't really like the walls all that much. I think they're a bit cold. But, I mean, it is a stone castle, so it's kind of difficult to make a castle feel warm on the inside. So, if you come across any of these doors, they are simply balconies. Um, this door right here, and then there's one more above us. But check this out. Got ourselves some bookshelves for the bookworms of Skyrim. Got a nice little library in here, as well as the master bedroom. It is a bit dark in here. Let's go ahead and bump up the brightness all the way up. It is a bit dark, but this is the master bedroom. It's got a cupboard right here. Got ourselves a nice big bed. I do love the seals right here. I kind of wish I knew what they all stood for and where they were all from. And looks like we've got... Okay, so just for transparency's sake, when I opened that guild box right there, I did crash. But what I didn't notice uh, was there's actually a teleport dragon lair home book right there, as well as the Steinberg home right there. And we're not going to open that box because it, it scares me. <laughs> but kind of a nice little area to have right through here. Got ourselves a bunch of these big-ass wardrobes. Honestly, kind of nice to have that, that storage here. Kind of a bland. Uh, I can see that uh, they like deer. <laughs> the, the, or maybe they don't like deer. That's why there's heads all over the place. What do we have back here, though? Ooh. This looks to be maybe a guest bedroom slash children's bedroom. Based on the little toys right here, I'd probably go ahead and say it's a kid's bedroom, which is honestly kind of a neat touch. Having the kids right around from the parents, kind of a cool touch. I like that. But then, on our last spot, or our last stop, up here, this is the... Oh, okay, wait. Was there bathrooms and Was there toilets? Not toilets. Bathtubs in my initial walkthrough? I don't remember seeing bathtubs. 
Maybe I just didn't walk up there. Look at it! So we have the regular bathtub. This one's for the peasants. And then we've got over here the bubbly one for the king and queen. <laughs> oh my god. Not sure how I feel about having a gigantic fire pit next to my fire pit, next to my on fire probably bathtub. But you know what? That's totally fine. Uh, more fire for everybody, right? It's not like we have a wooden ceiling. Oh wait, yes we do. But, but it's still kind of cool to have this, honestly. A bit weird to be having a, a dinner table slash place to eat right next to where you're going to be bathing, possibly. But, I mean, to each their own, I suppose. These are most likely shit buckets. So we'll just go ahead and take that and empty that in the peasants one, obviously. We're not going to empty the king and, king, king and queen shit into our rooms. No, we're going to put that in the peasants one. There we go. So, I do believe that that's everything that this castle has to offer. However, we're not done yet. There are two other homes to take a look at. So, I'm going to do another once-over and make sure that I didn't miss anything in the castle itself. If I did, I'll come back and we'll still be here. If not, I'll meet you at the next home. Okay, so it seems I did actually miss one place, and it was this area right here. I'll go ahead and show you where it's at on the outside, but I want to say that this might be the bakery. Remember we were talking about the bakery in the beginning of the showcase? I don't know, though. There's a cooking spit in here, as well as some baked goods right there, but there's also beds. And it's a bit, a bit bizarre to have beds inside of the bakery. So maybe it's not the bakery. I have no idea. But it is called this. That's what you're looking for. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, because I would probably butcher it. But now, on to the next home. So here we are at the Dragon Lair home, down here next to Lake Ilanata and Falkreath. So I love this area down here because it's always so lush and always so, you know, overgrown and everything like that. It's a beautiful area down here. And I think the details on this house are much better because it's a smaller space. But outside, we got ourselves a nice little cooking spit. And I will say I haven't seen the inside of this home because I wanted to make sure that the front door worked and loaded, but I didn't go inside. So let's see what the Dragon Lair home looks like. Okay, hello there, random uh, deer pelt on the wall. <laughs> Okay, kind of a nice little area down here. A bit boring on the inside, but I like this floor. It kind of reminds me of a Sims floor, honestly. Another cooking spit on the inside, just in case. A little shit bucket right there, just in case. <laughs> I like the big windows. I do wish that they like brought light in. That would be really cool. That would be a great way to get a lot of natural light in here. I like the wraparound area. Just kind of a vanilla with sprinkles area through here, but looks like there's actually an upstairs. What do we have up here? Oh, there's a bed. Oh, and an armor mannequin. Two armor mannequins, actually. Nice. So you can actually store a few things over here as well. Grab yourself a nice good night's sleep if you need to. Got yourself an alchemy lab. That's kind of nice. And then looks like a regular bookshelf. That doesn't work. And a couple pelts and stuff. Okay. So nothing really too, too crazy about this home. I assume this is just a balcony. Yes. Uh, it's a very tiny balcony. <laughs> So yes, this home, definitely on the smaller side. Certainly not as expansive or, you know, as, you know, uh, refined as the castle, I'd say. The castle in itself, you know, with its size, it has a lot more room for things. But having done that one, I think I like the outside area of this one more than the, than the inside area. But there's one last stop on our showcase today, and that is the actual home located here next to Sunderstone Gorge. And here we are at the Steinberg home. And I think out of the three homes that are included within this mod, this one has to be my favorite. It's like the prettiest, I'd say. It's definitely in like one of the best areas. And altogether, it just looks so awesome. What is that? I hear you wolves. I don't care where you're at. Don't try and kill me, please. I'm trying to show people stuff. So yes, right next to Sunderstorm Goge, uh, Gor Gorge, Sunderstone Gorge, right down the road from Markarth as well as Morthal, but your closest hold is still probably Falkreath. Now, what's the point of having two homes in practically spitting distance of each other? Because you're rich and you don't have to worry about anything, okay? That's why. Don't think about it too much, okay? Okay. So, gigantic stone foundation, my god, but I love this. Looks like a brick, o brick oven pizza thing. Hey, hey, hey. What did I tell you? You are not to interrupt. Stupid thing. I do like the wraparound deck area. But I gotta get up here and see this outdoor. Oh, I see a tub. I see a hot tub. Give it to me. Look at it. It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> God dang it. I love this, though. Look at that. Is that Alduin's head? Kind of looks like it. 
This is such a cool little spot. It's even got a damn grill back there. What the hell? What a great spot. Dang, the mod author really knows how to choose the great picturesque spots, that's for sure. All right, well, let's take a look at the actual home and we'll finish off today's showcase there. Okay, here we are. This looks very nice and cozy. Look at the walls and the floor, the tapestries. Okay, I'm digging this. I, I love the fact that they've continued to use these as well. I like this a lot. Hell, I would make... Ooh, I'm not a fan of wallpaper, but I think this complements the home well. <gasps> Look at how cozy this is up here. Nice big bed. Oh, this is a retreat. I would totally call this a retreat. That's so nice. And then it looks like we got a couple balconies. One on this side. Now look at that. We can take a look at everything out here. And then looks like one other balcony on this side. Yes, indeed. And you've got a nice little view of your Stonehenge. <laughs> so... I do believe that that is everything that this home has to offer, that this mod has to offer. However, if I missed anything, do please let me know down there in the comment section because chances are between three homes, there's a big possibility that I did miss something. So let me know what your guys' thoughts of it down there in the comment section are. I would love to hear your your, compliment, your comments, compliments, you know, gripes, anything like that. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Which home would you use if you downloaded this mod? I'm very curious to hear your opinions. But guys, until next time, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.